hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, um, and this is the first video, so, um, my whole family's gone, which is kind of very rare, uh, because it's quarantine, and so I thought I would just film a little video for when I'm gonna post it, but it's fine, it's gonna make me feel better to edit it and not have to have normal videos where I have to act like a girl, so. Today's video is gonna be kind of a full, packed, like, uh, tips for trans people kind of thing. This is FTM. Yeah, all right, let's get into it. Okay, so um, the first thing we're gonna talk about is hair. Now, as you know, my hair is still kind of long, um, but uh, I'm gonna be getting it cut soon. So um, let's talk about what I do with my hair when I'm feeling particularly dysphoric. I cut thick sideburns into my hair because I was watching a video on how to make long hair more masculine and it said to do that, so I was like, all right, I'll do that. And now, when I pull my hair back, you can kind of see the sideburns, it gives me more of a masculine look. What you're gonna need for the hair portion, is you're gonna need two hair bands, a beanie, and um, a bandana. And my hair is kind of like short long, but um, if your hair is a little longer, when you do this, put your ponytail, you can put it in a ponytail and then flip it up I'm just gonna put it in a ponytail. Sorry, my voice is like going all over the place. Now you're gonna put your beanie on, pull it back, and then you can take the back of it and just kind of tuck it up like that. And um, you can see, looks very masculine. Um, and then you can see, since you shaved the sides right here, gives it a very masculine look. All right, so this next look, this isn't gonna like, this isn't gonna, gonna help you pass this is just if you're like feeling this work so what you're gonna do and i'm gonna do this really quick so it's not really good you're gonna take your hair all the top of your hair and put it in a ponytail now i just look like a little like girl from the 90s but we're gonna fix that okay so now I'll take the back of your hair and pull it back into a ponytail now this looks very bad you're never going to want to like, go out in public looking like this. Just take this, put it on, and pull it down. And now you're just going to look a little, you look a little bit better. Um, I don't know. I just, this is just like a weird hairstyle, but I kind of like it. Uh, I think it's kind of a vibe for me, but um, kind of makes me look like I'm a greaser or something. Just do this, which is a little bit more of a girly way to do it, but... I don't know, I just kind of do this because it makes me feel less dysphoric and it doesn't matter what's girly, it matters about what makes you less dysphoric. So, there you go, dudes. And then you can just have it fall over and this is gonna, it just makes me feel more masculine. As far as facial hair goes, let's just go on to a thing all about facial hair. So, first off, you can shave your face, which is kind of a myth that it'll make it thicker, but I feel like it makes it thicker and it just makes me feel better. So another thing that you can do is putting coconut oil on your face. And then if you can, get minoxidil, which is what I see a lot of guys using. Um, and it'll make your face look, and it'll make it hairier over time. Um, but if you're on tea, it's also gonna make it like grow way better um, and grow way thicker and faster. Because normally people get facial hair around seven months on tea and some people don't even get facial hair on tea. Um, Cause it's just, it just depends on your jeans but um i'm brunette and so i kind of get like i don't know if y'all aren't even gonna see y'all won't even be able to see but like little little tiny hair on my face gets me so excited and so it's bad that i shave it because when it comes in i'm like oh my gosh but you know old spice if you have the chance get some old spice um my family's pretty chill. They don't really care what I get. My whole closet is full of boy stuff. And even before I realized it was just full of boy stuff, like I hated going to the girl section. Made me cry. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so this is body spray. Be very careful with how much of this you use. I use one spritz and then down your pants. And that's it. That's all I use um, because using too much can really not be good. Then your deodorant, um, try to have the same flavor if you can. Um, and I saw another guy talking about, he said if you don't have supportive parents, you can just get um, unscented, uh, which is a pretty good idea. And also try and remember that there's not really girl smells and boy smells. I know it feels like really like bad because 
you can't like get the boy stuff, but there's not really boy stuff and girl stuff. Just try and imagine that flowers are masculine. <laughs> so now um, let's talk about binding. So for binding, I just wear a few bras. So I wear, um, this is an Adidas bra, and then this is a Reebok bra that's a size too small. And then I wear this, which um, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a weird. Mom, don't know what that was. Wow, I'm scared now. <laughs> um, what was I even talking about? Oh, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a weird like tank top kind of, but it only goes down to like here. My mom bought it for me so I could wear it with dresses or stuff that cut too low. Um, but it just makes it so that it doesn't look like there's a bunch of bras. It just kind of makes it look more flat. You know how you can see the ring right there? It makes the ring less noticeable. Um, which I really like. And another hack is just wearing kind of darker shirts can really make you feel better. Um, shirts like this are good because they have long sleeves and then they're just kind of like, um, you can get a bigger size and the sleeves will look normal on you, but it'll be like looser in the front. Um, and then also like, this is like one of my favorite shirts because it's just so thick. Um, it's probably gonna be the shirt I wear today, but. Um, it's just kind of thick, and um, a lot of button-ups are going to be like that. Um, you can just kind of see my closet is just kind of like full of like, you know. And it's just kind of what I've always worn, but yeah. I don't know what my new outro is going to be because my other channel is something, but I don't want to give myself away, so. Um, okay, I've got it. Vibe and subscribe.